All right, now we're going to work on the Chemistry B Proficiency 13 extra practice. Uh, this is equilibrium constant. So remember, um, let's kind of write up here, for any equation, uh, A number of A's plus B number of B's um, gives you C number of C's plus D number of D's. Uh, your K, your constant, is always going to equal the concentration of C to the power of its coefficient times the concentration of D to the power of its coefficient divided by the concentration of A to its coefficient times the concentration of B times its coefficient. So it's basically the products to the power of their coefficient divided by the concentration of the reactants to their coefficient. So in this instance, you're going to have K equals the concentration of HI squared, because there's two of them, divided by the concentration of H2 times the concentration of I2. Now, it's a common misconception here to, to try to square these, but it's only for coefficients, not for these little guys. So you plug all those numbers in and you're going to get 0 0.156 squared over uh, z basically 0 0.022 times 0 0.022. So you do all that math out, and you'll get your k equal to about 50.3. Now, this k is called equilibrium constant for a reason, right? It's constant. It's the same. So you have the same system. If you add more stuff to it, like it says in this next problem, your k is still the exact same thing. So what we can do is we can take this equation right here and just bump it down here, but we know our k. So we know our k is 50.3. It says, what if you change your H2 and your I2, what's your HI going to be? Well. Your H2, it says you change it to 0.82. Your I2, you change it to 0.0242. What's your H2 going to be? So let's just call H2, or HI, I mean. Let's just call it X, just because that's easier. Now, the most important part that people forget all the time is this needs to be X squared, because up here, there's two of them. You squared it up here, you got to square it up there. So you do all this math. All right, multiply these together, multiply both sides. You're going to get x squared equals 0 0.998. So then, of course, you take the square root of both sides, and x is going to equal pretty much 1. Um, the rest of these are all pretty much exactly the same as this. You're going to calculate k, um, and then you can use that to find um, more problems after that.